everyone, my name is Dr. Luisa and you're welcome to this week's edition of Toothy Tuesdays. This week, we're going to be discussing gingival recession, also known as gum recession. Gingival recession or gum recession is basically the displacement of your gums away from your teeth, causing your root surfaces to be exposed. So just as um, we hear about hairline recession, we also have gum recession, the gums do recede. It is not supposed to be so, so we're going to discuss why this happens and how it does. There are many factors that lead to the recession of our gums. The most common one is wrong toothbrushing technique. Most of the time, a lot of people brush very aggressively and with the wrong technique, and this leads to recession of the gums. The second um, factor, which is also a very, very important factor that leads to recession of our gums, is using the wrong type of toothbrush, especially the hard bristle toothbrush. Hard bristle toothbrushes causes severe damage to our gums and this leads to gum recession. Another important factor that leads to recession of our gums is clenching and grinding. So not only does clenching and grinding of our teeth cause our teeth to wear down, but it also leads to recession of our gums. Another factor that leads to recession of gums is prolonged use of braces. And um, once you're putting braces, your dentist should know about this and may educate you on it. And if there are signs and symptoms of um, gum recession, your dentist should be able to take care of that. Finally, another factor that leads to recession of the gums is genetics. Some people just naturally have a thin um, biotype of their gums and this just makes them their gums recede faster than the average person. So genetics also plays a very important factor in gum recession. So what are the signs and symptoms of gingival recession or gum recession? The very, very first one that a lot of people complain about is sensitivity. Now this is because the root surfaces have been exposed and there is no enamel which is the protective layer of the tooth on the root surfaces and this makes the inner part of the tooth exposed causing the tooth to be very very sensitive to hot and cold um, temperatures. The second sign of gingival recession is change in tooth color. A lot of patients would come in complaining about their, their tooth having changed and become more brown than it used to be. Now this is simply because the roots of the tooth again have been exposed and the covering of the roots which is called the cementum is darker in color than your enamel which is the normal crown of the tooth which is what we see when you smile. So this change in color is sort of an illusion and it makes people feel like their tooth is darkening in color. A third sign of gingival recession is um, spacing between the teeth. A lot of the times the patients also complain that there are spaces growing in between the teeth. Now these spaces that are formed are spaces that were previously filled by the gingiva. But now that the gum or the gingiva has moved away from the tooth, these spaces become open spaces and then they begin to pack food whenever you eat and you'd have to pick it with a toothpick or um, floss. Even though toothpicks are not recommended, most of the time they come in picking the place with toothpicks and now the place becomes inflamed because of the irritation from the toothpick. Finally, another sign of gingival recession is the appearance of the tooth looking longer than the other teeth close to it. Again, this is because the gingiva or the gum has moved away from the tooth and the root has been exposed. So the length of the, the tooth that you see appears longer than the other teeth where um, the gums have not receded. So what do you do when you realize that your gums are receding or you've got gingival recession? It's very important to see your dentist. When you go to see your dentist, your dentist will measure how much recession there is. In cases of very minimal recession, after measurements are done, your dentist will just observe it and then place you on um, some future appointments where he, will con he or she will continue to uh, monitor and observe the recession. Your dentist would also use something that we call cosmetic bonding. 
um, to cover the exposed root surfaces. This improves the aesthetics and it also prevents sensitivity because it covers up the exposed root surfaces. In severe cases of gum recession, your dentist will refer you to a specialist, a gum specialist who is known as a periodontologist, who if need may be, would perform a surgery on your gums to cover up the exposed root surfaces. It is very important to see your dentist when you have gum recession. Leaving it alone is not a solution because your gums will not grow back by themselves. So it's very important that you go see a dentist and have whatever procedure has to be done for you. Leaving exposed root surfaces may progress to other diseases which may even cause you to lose your tooth. So it's very important that you see a dentist.